Hi guys. Uh, <clears throat> before I give up on this, what we'll call the Mark I ball turner, uh, this expansion idea was partially successful, but not good enough. So there's one other thing I'm going to try. I've just set up the uh, T-nut in the fore jaw, and I've got, when I stop dropping them, I've got some real mini bearings. Can you see that? Uh, they are 5 by 11 by 4, if I remember rightly. I can just about accommodate two of those in the T-nut and this size here is at the moment just under size to take a bearing so what I'm going to do is to put a boring bar in there and uh, increase the diameter to take a bearing flip it round and do the other side and then on the main unit substitute this pin for a smaller one which of course may be too small <laughs> it may even have flex in it but I don't know it's just something to try and again we'll make this end a, a press fit all right so we're going to give that a try it may be a total waste of time and then I'll probably get round to making some new tooling for the Mark II version well, I didn't want to bore everybody with the uh, boring this out as I think I said it's only needed a small enlargement, about 25, 30 thou I think. So I got these two small bearings in, which you can probably see fairly clearly. They're both inset by four or five thou for good clearance. Now I've got to make a spindle or shaft, whatever you want to call it, which is five millimeter for that. And then the um, for the top of this, got to make something that's going to be a press fit in there. Whether 5mm will be stiff enough, shall we say, I'm not sure. But I'm hoping that uh, a good fit in the bearings should avoid much in the way of slop. These are new bearings, so there's no particular free play in them. So we'll see where we go with that. Now we just made up this uh, this little piece here which that's to run inside the bearings and I'm just going to see if I can press this onto the uh, top section. Right, we've uh, pressed that in That feels pretty good. That was about a thou and a, uh, wait a minute, over two thou oversize, pretty tight fit. So now, with that and the T nut, it remains to be seen when it's on the tool post how much slack there is. I doubt if it'll be 100% tight, but it may be better. So we'll try it. Well, there's a bit more improvement. Uh, not perfect. It's just a little bit of uh, spinning freely, of course, for the bearings. And it, I can detect a very small amount of rocking. It's a lot better than it was. The only other third option that might be tried is to uh, possibly take out the bearing at the bottom and then uh, shorten this down and drill and tap for a small bolt and have a washer in the uh, pocket that the bearing was in and tighten that down so that it's really tight against the T-nut so I may try that, and of course I've got to got to do some um, 
something else for the tooling on here which might be some HSS but I've also got to do the tooling for the Mark II the um, boring head version anyway just to show you I didn't bother with all the machining basically just showing what might improve this one and we'll see how it goes when I get to testing it uh, probably when I've got some better tooling alright that's it for that one I'll try and do some uh, tooling improvement on the Mark II boring head version as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.